Hey guys, Michael here from the California Walking Store to show you one of my personal guns. This is my KWA LM4. Uh, it is a gas blowback rifle in a Mark 18 configuration at the moment. Um, I've done a lot to this externally, internally. Just one simple upgrade was the um, Maple Leaf Evo 2 hop up unit. It comes with a new bucking, new steel sleeve, and a steel tensioner arm, so it's really consistent and very accurate at range. And then I'm just going to go from front to back here because there's a lot to cover. Uh, on the very front of my gun, I have a Knight's Armament three prong flash hider and suppressor. Uh, I really like the look of this. It's like the modern Knight's trade, so or the, like the modern Knight's look, so more of a modern Mark 18 to it. Um, a Bravo Surefire Scout light, uh, really good light, only like 60 bucks, 150 lumens. Um, Knight's Armament front post, uh, I got off of Cisco, thanks to him for hooking it up with that. Um, and then my pressure pad setup is actually fairly unique. Uh, I got the inspiration from a well-known airsoft team. Uh, I'm not going to say any names, but if you know who they are, just based off the setup. Up, uh, you know, you're a huge fan like I am. Um, the two pads on the side operate my peck box, and then the pressure pad on the top operates my flashlight. Um, backing up a little bit, this is the Bravo Peck 15 in flat dark earth. Uh, I forgot I was working on my car one night. I didn't think about the motor oil that went into it, but it turned out to actually be a good thing because it gives it a really nice battle worn look. And everyone asked how I did it. I just tell them work on your car with it. Um, Holding all of that together is the Daniel Defense uh, Mad Bull Mark 18 rail. Uh, I really like this rail because of the official license. It's hard to see with all the stuff on there, but um, the bronzing is beautiful on this thing. It looks very close to the real one. And then underneath, I do also have the Knight's knockoff uh, foregrip as well. And then moving back a little bit further, I have a reproduction EOTech XPS. Um, Decent sight. Uh, the picture is a little dark for my taste, but it gets the job done. It holds its zero pretty well, as well as a sight protector that I got here. It's only like 15 bucks on our website. And then my lower was actually a huge thank you to our head tech, Spencer. Uh, he was building one of the custom LM4s that sold a few months back, and he found this baby upstairs in our boneyard. And the Magpul lowers are pretty hard to come by now. Like, you find them every now and then on the forums, but people are asking ridiculous amounts of for them. And Spencer came in clutch, and he found this receiver for me, so I, big shout-out to him for that. Um, moving a little bit further back, I have the PTS Magpul SSG Fire Selector. It's completely ambidextrous, um, polymer feel, so it's really nice. It doesn't dig into my hands at all. Um, and it's a really crisp fire selector. Um, below that, I have the Magpul MOE Plus grip. It's a rubberized texturing instead of a plastic. So if I ever forget to wear my gloves, which happens a lot, um, I still get a, a really good feel on it. It's really hot in the range right now, so it's, it's actually a really good hole, and I, I'm confident it's not going to slip at all. Um, up on top, this is actually a real United States Marine Corps uh, Knights Armament site. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, I got that off of my friend Alec. He's stationed down at Camp Pendleton. Um, big, big shout out to him. These are not cheap at all, and he hooked it up for that. Um, my charging handle is the PTS Raptor Arms, or the Rainier Arms Raptor Charging Handle. Uh, this is licensed through PTS, uh, retails on our website for about 60 bucks. Um, I really like this charging handle, really smooth, easy to operate, just one handed. Uh, that's more of the buffer being really light. And then at the very back, this is a Magpul STR stock. I really like it because I have the option of storing batteries into the stock. And I can fit two CR123s in here, uh, a couple double A's, or anything else that's tubular shaped that can fit in that. And then also I have the enhanced butt pad as well. Um, and then in addition to that, I currently have a high power bolt in here. Uh, for all my friends that like to talk smack. So this current bolt is shooting 460 feet per second, but I do also have a stock bolt that's going to allow it to shoot like 330, so I can still take it indoors. So let's go ahead and give this a test fire and see how this thing rock and roll. Ah, I didn't gas it up. Oh, well. But, uh, this is my current build. If you have any questions regarding it, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, this thing has been roughly a year and a half worth of work pretty much ever since I started here uh, is when I started building this gun. Uh, if you have any more questions about it, feel free to ask. Uh, if you want to see it in person, even shoot it, come on down by the store. I don't mind at all. Thanks for tuning in and have a good one. See you next time.